Chapter 36 The Aggrieved Fairy Wanna Ding ding ding. Fairy Wanna steeply played her ancient zither, and as she did so, the crowd of zither masters around her instantly opened their eyes. Even the old manor master was instantly attracted. God shaking song, the old manor master was slightly stunned and suddenly smiled. Regrettable God song, what is the demoness playing this tune for? Regrettable God song, as long as there is a Kindow realm of intents, it can be instantly broken open. It is only for those who don't have a Kindow realm of intents are. This place is full of kin masters. What is she doing playing this song? I heard that the regrettable God song could be integrated into one's own mind and soul. And if one devotes oneself wholeheartedly to it, if one doesn't shake others, one will regret oneself. And either you die or I die. The crowd was at a loss. Fairy Wanna was playing the zither while staring at Guhai. Regretful God song. Guhai didn't have the zither Dao intent. As long as he was hit, he would immediately have his mind shaken and his six gods lost. Buzz, Long Wanxing suddenly looked stunned. A trace of confusion flashed in her eyes. Gu Hai was also at this moment, and suddenly, it felt like the heaven and earth had shifted before his eyes. Wasn't he walking on top of a lawn just now? At this moment, it seemed like he had appeared in the clouds in a flash. There was no one else, only himself. A force that shakes the mind and spirit, straight to the three souls of Gu Hai so that Gu Hai's spirit was shocked into a trance. Gu Hai stood unmoving, blankly looking at the countless clouds around him. For a moment, it was as if he had forgotten how to come in general, thinking about what was going on. Ding, 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 ding. A mesmerizing zither sound rang out. Listening to it, Gu Hai drifted away, wanting to lie in these clouds and not care about anything or. Gu Hai was hit. The surrounding group of zither masters revealed a hint of doubt. The demoness is trying to deal with Master Gu. How is Master Gu intoxicated? Could it be that Master Gu doesn't have a Zither Dao intent? How is that possible? How could Master Gu not have a Zither Dao intent? You're kidding. The crowd of Zither masters revealed bewilderment. It was only at this moment that Fairy Wanna revealed a smile. Finally, you've been dismantled. Everyone around was beginning to doubt Gu Hai's Zither Dao intent. It was a raised eyebrow, a very soothing feeling. Gu Hai was mesmerized. The sound of the zither shook the gods and went straight to the three souls. Right at this moment, in the space between his eyebrows, the heaven legion divine seal seemed to feel something and violently shook and boomed to suppress the sound of the zither. The sound of the zither merged into immortal one's intent. And with this suppression, an irreversible backlash rushed straight back. Boom! Gu Hai instantly woke up. The zither sound intent was also instantly suppressed by the Heaven Legion Divine Seal and flew into oblivion. Pfft! Fairy Wanna felt like her head had been hit by a giant object, and a mouthful of blood sprayed out with a roar. You, you, poof! Fairy Wanna stared at Gu Hai with glazed eyes, revealing a look of extreme incredulity. What happened just now? Long Wanching also woke up with a jolt. That was close. Are you alright? Hallmaster, we couldn't wake you up just now when we called you. Master Liu Nian said with a worried face. Turning his head, Master Liu Nian looked at Fairy Wanna with cold eyes. Deminis, you. The surrounding Zither Masters were also slightly stunned. Is this Master Gu's counterattack? Blasted the Deminis intent with the Kindao intent instantly bombarding it to spit out blood. Grandmaster Gu is truly powerful. The demoness doesn't know her own strength. The crowd of Zither Masters looked at Fairy Wanna with contempt. Only Fairy Wanna understood that it wasn't the Zither intent just now. Gu Hai didn't know how to counterattack. You, you. What did you do to me? Fairy Wanna spat out blood and looked at Gu Hai in depression. Fairy Wanna, more deeds will bring you death. Gu Hai said coldly. It had been more than once, trying to embarrass himself so capriciously. Gu Hai wasn't made of clay, letting you need him. However, every time he saw Fairy Wanna's miserable end, Gu Hai was also speechless. I haven't even retaliated yet. And you're miserable like this. 
I'm too embarrassed to do it. You're the one who does more than you should. You don't have any intent at all. You're a liar. Fairy Waller's eyes also reddened with aggression. This Demonis is crazy. Up to now she's still saying that Master Goo doesn't have a context. The surrounding Zither Masters were contemptuous. Fairy Wanna became more and more depressed and aggrieved. Fairy Wanna, the old manor master spoke with a slight sigh. Fairy Wanna twisted her head to look. The Tao of the Zither is not just about intent. You are not better than Gu Hai. That's a fact. The old manor master spoke softly. Although he spoke in a very amiable persuasion, in Fairy Wanna's ears, it was as if he had given her another Philip. It was already miserable. Won't you say something nice to comfort her? You want to insert another knife? What do you mean by that? The knife also even if, almost everyone around the very solemn nod, as if to say, this knife inserted the right, should be inserted like this general. A. The surrounding crowd was slightly stunned. This Demonis, her head is broken, right? Inexplicably, the old manor master instructed her, and she actually didn't accept it, with an open mind, running away in anger. The crowd of kin masters counted amongst themselves. Guhai stretched out his right hand. In his palm, there was an extra drop of water. It wasn't a droplet of water, it was the aggrieved tears that slipped from Fairy Wanna's eyes as she flew into the sky just now. And Guhai caught them. Looking at this tear drop in his palm, Guhai faintly smiled bitterly. Some of the original anger had also completely subsided. As Fairy Wanna left, the Zither Masters also once again recovered as before, closing their eyes to search for the Gu Chen soul. Gu Hai and his party continued to walk towards City Lord He Shikong, who was not far away. When City Lord He saw Gu Hai and his party walking towards him, he frowned slightly and seemed to have guessed the crowd's purpose. City Lord He, may I borrow a step to speak? Long Wan Ching solemnly said, If you have something to say, say it here. City Lord he frowned. Long Wan Ching flipped her hand, and a gold silk scroll appeared in her palm. Holy decree, City Lord his face changed. Long Wan Ching flipped her hand to collect the holy decree and solemnly said, City Lord he, please. He she Kong was silent for a while and finally nodded. The crowd headed towards a corner not far away. Above the square, Sima Chang Kong arrowed his eyes and watched the crowd leave, a trace of doubt flashing in his eyes. And just in this matter, far above the sky, young Master An and Fang Ming Ho piloted their flying boats in pursuit of the elves. But, in the end, they came up empty-handed and flew back in their flying boats. Oh, wait. The flying boat stopped here. Young Master An's eyes narrowed, and he said in a cold voice, Oh, e young master An, what's wrong? Fang Ming Ho said suspiciously. He Shi Kong, what is he and Gu Hai's party going for? Young master and coldly said. A long distance away, but it was a blur to see He Shi Kong and Gu Hai's party, avoiding the surrounding crowds. Walk to a corner. Gu Hai used a spirit stone to set up an ordinary chest Dao formation, only for soundproofing. After all, here are Kin Dao masters. Hearing is extremely strong, at this moment even more full attention to open hearing. One does not make a defense that is equal to talking in front of the crowd. He Shi Kong was brought to the corner by the crowd. At this moment a trace of annoyance flashed in his eyes. Long Wan Ching once again took out the holy decree. City Lord he frowned and finally shook his head. Forget it. I understand that you guys wouldn't dare to falsely pass on the holy decree. If there's anything you want to ask, ask. Still the same question from the other day. Does City Lord he have any clues, or even a clue, to Long Xiao Yu's death? Long Wan Ching solemnly said. No, I said that day. No, City Lord he said in a resolute tone. Long Wan Ching was slightly stunned. Originally thought that after a change of place, and no one to monitor. City Lord He would tell the truth. What? City Lord He. In the past, my mother's zither club, you but often go all. My mother, but you as a close friend. Now, a good friend died. You do not have a little sad. You didn't notice anything unusual. 
when you saw my mother for the last time, city lord he, uncle he, when I was a child, I heard my mother mention you many times. My mother treated you as a confidant. Are you really indifferent to my mother's death? Long Wanxing said with red eyes. A trace of struggle flashed in City Lord He's eyes. Then he remained resolute. I really don't know anything. What about Ma Huang Fu? Gu Hai suddenly interjected. HM. City Lord He's face abruptly changed as he looked at Gu Hai in surprise. However, in an instant, City Lord He suppressed the shock in his heart and recovered his expression. What Mr. Huang Fu? I don't know. Oh, Gu Hai's eyes narrowed slightly. Just now, he had abruptly shouted out M. Huang Fu, just to see City Lord He's reaction. And sure enough, City Lord He still knew something about Long Wan Ching's death. And this Ma Huang Fu was also a key figure. Ma Huang Fu. Doesn't City Lord He know? In the past, he and you had participated in Mother's Zither Club together many times. Long Wan Ching said eagerly. I don't know. I don't recognize it. City Lord He bought. City Lord He. This formation is soundproof. What do you know? Tell me. Okay. No one knows. My mother died so tragically. I want to avenge my mother so badly. Now you're the only one who knows a little bit. Please. Okay. Long Wan Ching said with red eyes. City Lord He's tone was resolute for a while and finally shook his head. I really don't know. You're asking the wrong person. Long Wan Ching had a burst of despair. Grandmaster Liu Nian also had an ugly look on his face for a while. Shang Wen's scar was on guard in all directions. All right, since you don't know, then City Master, he can write me a guarantee against the holy decree of his majesty and give us a guarantee. Gu Hai frowned and said, A, write a guarantee. City Lord he was slightly stunned. Who are you? Probing his hand, Gu Hai flipped his hand and took out a table with a quill and ink on it, as well as a golden silk cloth. What are you doing here? City Lord he said in a deep voice. The holy decree is here. The great Jin dynasty, no matter who it is, fully cooperates with the investigation. City Lord he, since you flatly say that you don't know, then please write it down and put your official seal on it. We'll do it for the record. And if the Holy Lord inquires about it, we can hand it over to the Holy Lord as well. Gu Hai said in a deep voice, Long Wan Cheng and Master Liu Nian looked at Gu Hai in confusion, not knowing what Gu Hai was up to, but did not stop them. City Lord He had a puzzled look on his face. City Lord He, please still cooperate. You don't want the whole master to invite another holy decree. Do you? Gu Hai laughed. After writing everything, City Lord he was silent for a while, and at the end, probing his hand, he took out an official seal and pressed it. Snap! The official seal pressed on, leaving behind an official seal graphic, with a hint of golden light above the graphic. Is this all right? City Lord he said in a deep voice, all right. Gu Hai smiled faintly and carefully put away the golden silk cloth. If there's nothing, then I'll leave, City Lord he frowned. I wonder if it's true or not, Gu Hai asked with a smile. HMM, City Lord, he was slightly stunned, unexpectedly looking at Gu Hai. What did Gu Hai mean? Could it be that he wanted to defect to the Luyang Royal House? On the side, Long Wan Ching's face changed, revealing a wave of anxiety. Pa, Master Lionian was the one who suddenly pulled Long Wan Ching. He asked for many more details. The conversation went on for a while before it ended. City Lord he revealed a wave of doubt and once again returned to the square. Gu Hai, you just now, Long Wan Ching said curiously. Nothing. Where's the flying boat? Let's go. Gu Hai laughed. Long Wan Ching blankly took out the flying boat. The four of them flew on to the flying boat with Shang Wen Trace at the helm, and quickly scurried into the cloud room. Once they entered between the clouds, they immediately saw young master An An Fang Mingho, ancient Si, Long Wan Ching, young master and looked coldly at Gu Hai, who was not far away. Gu Hai looked at young master An, and a cold smile flashed within his eyes, young master An, I, 
Gu Hai, make a clear distinction between grudges. I have a fresh memory of targeting the No, one piano house. In this street several times, young Master An, what a great right. Ha ha ha, what a great right. Towards the end, Gu Hai's laughter even brought out a hint of sarcasm in general. The two flying boats brushed past each other, and in the blink of an eye, Gu Hai's flying boat flew far away. However, Gu Hai's inexplicable words made young Master An's face gloomy. Gu Hai, what did he mean by his words just now? Young Master An frowned as he looked towards Fang Mingho. After saying that, young Master An's flying boat flew back to Silver Moon Island. Although he was tough with his mouth, young Master An still had a pang of apprehension in his heart, always having a bad feeling, and immediately found City Lord He. That tone of Gu Hai just now. Oh no, oh no. Young Master An's face changed wildly. Above the flying boat, Gu Hai grabbed the guarantee written by City Lord He, looked at it again and again, and revealed a light smile. All right, it's time to go dragon fishing.